Do you want a quick and easy wreath? Do you want a quick and easy wreath? We'll show you how we made these two in 10 minutes. 10 minutes. All right, so today we're going to make some wreaths. <sighs> Put it down. So I need a wreath for my front door and I couldn't decide which one I wanted to make. I did a little Pinterest searching and so I'm gonna make two and I'm gonna make Garrett help me today. Half made, almost done. Yeah, <laughs> Give, we're giving him the easy wreath. Mine, mine isn't much more difficult. Really, I think we're gonna make these two wreaths in like, I don't know, 10 minutes maybe. Really, it won't take long at all. I can make that wreath in eight minutes. All right, so the great thing about these wreaths, we didn't have to do any real crafting to this. Everything was purchased at your local craft stores, Joann's, Michael's, one of them was even purchased at Walmart. So we're gonna, let's go through our supply list, all right? Okay. One grapevine wreath. One wreathy wreath. Boxwood wreath. Boxwood. Some silk flowers. A placard. A welcoming word. Some burlap ribbon. Floral wire. Little accent. And some clippers. And maybe some floral tape. All right, you ready? Let's get started. All right, let's go. Let me give you your instruction. All right. This is the top of your wreath, so make sure it stays at the top because that's how it's going to hang, okay? Yep. And then yours is very simple. You're going to put this right here. Yep. You're going to, I think I'm going to hot glue this to this, oh, okay. and then I want you to attach the whole shebang with this floral wire, just kind of right around the outside. Oh, yeah, all right, and hide right the wire. Right around the outside. That's and then bad. this is gonna go as a hanger. I'll oh, make the bow oh, for you. Yeah, I'm not. While Garrett starts on his, mine is going to have a set of flowers on the side and this little accent V right here, and I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'll put a countdown clock between us. Right here. <laughs> Go. Go. <laughs> All right, I need those clippers. Go fish. You're killing my time. You're killing my time. I have ever, never actually made a wreath before, so. I've never made a wreath before. I didn't think either. so. I didn't think so. So for ours, we're going to attach it on the side like this. And I think I'm going to use this floral tape again, just winging it here. All right, new plan. I think I need some wire too. Oh, do you need me to do it over there? Let me get it. Need help? Nope, you do you. I'm almost done. <laughs> if you've made a wreath before and you have a better technique, let me know. So I'm just gonna wire these down onto this, onto this grapevine wreath. Almost done. Almost I'm done. I'm beating you. I'm working on it. Oh, that's gotta be tighter. Hang on. Oh, I know, I know. I'm lining it up. I'm lining it up. You do yours. <laughs> You're always trying to do my project. I have my own issues over here. Do you just tie this, you think? I was gonna twist it. I'm gonna get twisty on it. Getting twisty on it. All right, and so I think I'm gonna add a couple of these daisies because they're cute. I feel like you're deconstructing a wreath. <laughs> well, I don't think you can put the whole bunch. It'll just look too... Flowery. Yeah, uh -huh. it'll be too much. I think it's too much. So, but I want it summery looking. So now I'm going to attach these daisies with more of this floral wire. While Garrett continues to tie his. <laughs> Twist them if you got them. Twist them if you got them. Get twisty. All right, does that look straight? Yeah, I think so. I think so. Does that look straight? You're being honest. <laughs> All right, almost done. I'm attaching this with what? Hot glue. Just like that? Just like that. Just like that? On an angle or just like that? Like that? No, not on an angle. Just like that? Yeah, I'm kind of a straight up and down kind of gal. Trying to determine how much of this I need. Let's go with that much. Just like that? Straight up and down. I think like that. All right, there it is. Oh, wow. And it's in. Just commit. That's how I do, I just commit. I just go in. No dilly in. I just rip off the band-aid, I just dive right in. Yes. That's my is, middle name. That is who you are. <laughs> 
All right, does that look straight? I like it. Does that look straight? I like it. All right, now how much of this stuff? Well, I'll tell you what, I have too much, so. Like, do I, is it gonna be a bow, like, that hangs down? Like you're doing? No. Or is it gonna be like, you get it, right? What I'm doing here? Yeah, yeah, I got it. I don't think it's that yeah, either. Yeah. Is it gonna hang? Whatever that is. Sides coming down at all? Is it just gonna be a bit like that? I might need help with this bow. Oh, you need me to make your bow? Yeah, you got an idea? Because none of these are exactly what I want. Is it like tying a shoe? No, oh, whatever it is, it's not like tying this. I want one like that, but that's not it. Like, oh, I got you. <sighs> Hold that in the middle, like real tight. Hold that in the middle. Uh-huh. Hold that in the middle. Uh-huh. That in the middle. I feel ya. That's not bad. Alright, alright. Alright, wait for it, wait for it. Here's the genius part. I like it, I like it. Tight, nice and tight. Can you do it tighter? It's all in the twist. It's not a bad bow. Mm. Alright, thanks. <laughs> yeah, not bad. Alright, I might need to do a little research on bows. Bow regard. Teamwork. So I think you need a loop of this too, just a small one and tie it to put through that. I want you to loop this through and then tie it to this. So tie a knot and then it goes, you need to provide some instruction. So she cut it too short. <laughs> so I cut a longer piece and I'm gonna tie it in the knot. In the knot. Tie it in the knot. So I'm gonna make the first part of my knot. My knot. My knot. And I'm gonna put the bow in the knot and tie the knot. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. That's probably better. Well, what? Huh? huh? Shh, do your project. All right. So I got the bow on mine. Uh oh. Now I'm gonna attach the V. All right, mine's done. I win. Yeah. Well, yeah. Mine's almost done. I'm just gonna attach this V and then I'm done. How are you attaching the V? I think oh, I'm gonna use wire. this wire. Because this wire is green, and you're gonna see it on the V that I could use this Sharpie marker maybe to hide it. I think I can just stick it through there. Yeah, stick it through. You don't do that. My V's still a little wet, because Garrett paints with too much paint. So I think I just put a fingerprint in it. <laughs> they don't call me old one coat Garrett for nothing. <laughs> right? Right? Is it, let's go through here like that. All right. All right, done. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I guess it helped. Here, I'll put a little on the side here. Good job. All right. All right, whose is better? Vote, leave a comment down below. Oh yeah, vote, vote your favorite. Garrett. Good job. Good job. Thanks for watching our project today. If you like watching our videos, go ahead and like, subscribe down there. Hit the notification bell so you know when our new videos come out. They come out every week. And if you wanna see some of our past stuff, I'm gonna throw those up over here. All right, watch something, like something, subscribe to something, and we'll see you guys next week. See you next week.